Wow. Uh, how did I know that that was going to happen with Dean Ambrose? Um, watching it right now, just ending. Um, I had a feeling as soon as Rollins uh, pinned Reigns, which it was a good match, but man, there were so many kickouts in this match, especially after seeing AJ and Cena. And I only saw a portion of that match. Cena kicking out of the Styles Clash and um, and AJ kicking out of the the attitude adjustment um, during this match. You know, Reigns kicking out of a, a out of a pedigree, and then Rollins kicking out of the spear, kicking out of two Superman punches, which people kick out of anyway. I don't remember the last time I saw somebody get beat by a Superman punch, but he kicked out of two of them for some reason for near falls. You know, th this thing where I, I understand, like, if they did this just in that match, because, you know, those are, like, two main eventers. I see a little bit more coming from the Cena match, but now the Seth Rollins and the... Oh, God. I like the counter, though, with the spear, like, right into the pedigree. That was pretty cool. Um... You know, like I said, there was and there was like a couple of moments here where I really had a problem with like the selling. Um, and one of those moments was when uh, Seth Seth Rollins. You know, I, I like the move; it's pretty, but the fucking superplex into the Falcon Arrow. And then you heard like JBL tried to say the name of the move, and then he was like, and then he went right. It's the superplex into the, and then he just couldn't remember what Cole said. But, like, think about it. The superplex is, like, a move. When, I remember, like, when Benoit used to hit it, he'd, like, writhe in pain. He'd, like, you know, he'd flip over even, like, on his goddamn neck. Um, you know, it's probably why he got, like, so many fucking concussions as he did probably due to that. Um, but anyway, so I gotta watch what I missed on the pay-per-view. But, like, I'm saying that... Um, Oh, God, what is this? Swerved? Ugh. Um, I'm watching that shit. But um, y think about it. You're hitting the big superplex. That move, I know everybody kicks out of it. Everybody's kicked out of it in the past. I think the only person to ever really get a pin out of it was Cowboy Bob Orton. And I think Sting might have gotten the pinfall off of it. I kind of distinctly remember him pinning somebody on Nitro with a superplex. Um, but it's a very rare move to get pinned from. Um, and the other thing, uh, so that move, like to get right up and do another move after it, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, when you really think about it, how could somebody fall and get right back up? And I know you're saying it's fake and everything, but it used to look a lot more realistic back in the day. Um, you know, you wouldn't see guys just popping right back up after a move. They would at least act like it hurt them. Uh, and the other thing where I'm surprised it rains. I mean, I don't know if it's his fault. Why are they in a hardware store here? Hey. Anyway, um, Seth Rollins gives the power bomb in the corner to Reigns. You know, he already hit one of those moves. He hit one already. That's a big move, a power bomb in the corner. Hits a kick, gets a near fall. Reigns kicks out of that, of course. Um, so, and then he hits it again later on the match. Reigns should be w worn down, and he hits another Superman punch right out of that. Then Rollins kicks out of that. So now Dean Ambrose. Um, it's just like, where are the transitions here? A Ambrose, um, you know, wins a briefcase, and he does what Kane did back in 2010, ca uh, cashing it in on the actual pay per view that he won it on. And the thing is, what I don't uh, really get is that they didn't really seem like they were building Ambrose towards a world title. And I get that's the unpredictability of winning the briefcase. But even still, it's like it just came out of nowhere. The way how they made Ambrose go down to Lesnar at Mania, it did not look like Dean Ambrose was in any position to be winning a world title anytime soon. Um, you know, they needed to work on some more things before they pulled the trigger on the world title run for Dean Ambrose, like developing his character, making it a little less goofy, you know, have him not talk to plants would be a good start. 
you know, fucking Mitch, the, the potted plant. Are we, are we forgetting about that already? That same guy is the world champion right now. The guy was talking to a plant a little bit more than a month ago or so. Now he's winning the world title. Um, so now it looks like at SummerSlam they are going to have the triple threat as I predicted. I know I didn't predict that he was going to cash it in right there on the pay-per-view. But, um, you know, nonetheless, it, it kind of happened almost exactly like I said it, it was going to. I said he was going to cash in probably a battleground or something. Close enough. Not patting myself on the back, but I'm just saying I just knew it was going to go down that way. So, uh, you know, I'm not a really big fan of him winning the world title at this point in time. But, you know, I guess it was a surprise. Um I really wish that Reigns just would have retained, um, and they could have really built up Ambrose leading into SummerSlam, but they're not going to do that, obviously. Yeah. All right, guys, I will see you for the, the main review tomorrow when I finish watching the show. All right, guys, have a good night.